Hello YouTube. So this is an exciting day for us. We have our Family Hub refrigerator that we've had for almost a year now and we've been waiting for this 2.0 update to come out forever and we just got a notification this morning that it's here and what was that? That was the microwave, okay. <laughs> so anyways, um, I just wanted to record this because I know a lot of people are looking for this uh, 2.0 update and I just wanted to um, start this so you as you can see let me actually back out here you can you can see that we are on the uh, original version of the family hub right now so yeah you can see our current version is Tizen 2.3.0 family hub blah 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 so this that's the old version right there but what's nice is we now have this update button so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and here we are back at that welcome screen so I'm going to hit start. Alright, it just finished updating. It took about, I don't know, two minutes. And it's rebooting now. And here we are. It's all set up. I finally got through the uh, six or seven step process to, to log in. But uh, <laughs> this is the new interface. This looks so much cleaner than the uh, previous version. So, uh, what, what do you think about this, honey? I like it so far. You like it so far. This 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 looks really awesome. So, and uh, let's just go down here. Obviously, I mean, it is the new version, but just to look at the settings. Oh, and I like how it's white now instead of black when you go to the settings. That that's cool. <laughs> and as you can see, we are now on Tizen 3.0. Family Hub 2. <laughs> there we go. That is so cool. All right, so I'll let I'll let you navigate a couple things and go for it. Well, I'm not sure what to edit first, but we'll start with city so we can have our weather added. So we can see how bad it's raining today. Yeah, it is. It is like really out. bad out today. We've been getting uh, school closing notices and the powers flickered a couple of times here. It's it's crazy. There we go. We got our weather back. Yay! Yay! That's pretty easy. And I'm curious because this was an issue on the old one when you clicked on. And what weather. was that? The so issue. The issue on the old one was that when you clicked on it and you were trying to get what the hourly was, every time you went to the website, it would bounce you back. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was having issues. So I'm interested. So hopefully in that's that. fixed. We'll we'll find out. Because it would pull up the web browser. Okay. Oh, oh that's okay. That's it's just saying that it doesn't have HTTPS and I don't know why you would need that in uh, but can that go away? It says hit OK and I'm hitting OK and I'm hmm. not going away. Interesting. So one, one little quirk we found so far. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can just close the web browser and try it a second time and it'll work. There we go. Okay. Nope. Still not working. Okay. We'll have to play with that. It's probably just the settings in the web browser that we can figure so, out. We have a son who's about two, and his absolute favorite thing... It's about three, actually. Yeah, almost three, um, is to draw on our refrigerator. <laughs> and so he can set a stool, because he's not very tall, obviously. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, this is much cleaner. Yeah, it is. Much easier. So before, the colors were like your color pattern on a computer, and you had to find them, and they were pain. This is much cleaner. Like I said, he's almost three. Simpler is better. So you can just choose a color, and you can draw. Oh, that's neat. So that would be nice for him. Yeah, because yeah, that the way you chose a color before was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it makes them into smaller instead of taking up the whole screen. Oh, that's cool. So you can and have before multiple. Before you had a memo, yeah. it would take up the whole screen, and you can only have one memo at a time. Now it makes it like sticky notes, so that you can have more than one memo. So that's nice. So. Talking about sticky, it, the one thing it doesn't have is sticky board. Is that right? Or yeah, sticky board is no longer. And that was just weird. It would give you like like. Uh, today in 1957 and yeah. you couldn't click it and you couldn't get any more information it was just it, it took up real estate on the fridge that just it didn't make sense so we, we never cared for it <laughs> so it still has all recipes which if you like to cook like I do it's nice because you can click on it hope find recipes um, and then you have your recipes right here in the kitchen with you um, Pandora you still have music I like music let's see if you go to all apps now you can see your apps easily in one place. It's before. much cleaner and yeah. there's more to it. There's more stuff. I love it. <laughs> I added some things, so we'll have to go through and 
Again, yeah, we, we haven't even had a chance to play with it. We, we just we did the update, and we're just excited because I, I saw a store demo. You haven't seen the store demo, but I saw one a couple of weeks ago, and when we got that notice that the update was coming, we were like, all right, well, let's do it. And it took like two weeks for it to finally get here. So, <laughs> so They sell the calendar, which I like to use because it connects to my Google calendar, and then so I will have it on my phone, and then it connects to the refrigerator. I can do my menu planning and whatever else is coming along, and then everything. Then he knows what's going on. Um, has the clock, fridge manager. Groceries by MasterCard and Instacart are still on here, but we can't use them here in Maine because we don't have them. Maybe in the future. Hopefully. Maybe in the future. I'd love to have it in the future, but they're not available here in Maine. It's <laughs> not where we're located in Maine. So you still have the internet. Um, you have your memo board, Pandora, photo album, so it will scroll through. Let's see. Has our timer, which I use all the time because. I have a timer on the stove and a timer on the microwave, but there are some times that you need a third timer in your kitchen, and this is my out third timer. So hey, we can still view inside. I had so. all three going before. What? I was looking at down bottom there. You can still view inside the fridge, so that's good. Yeah, and you still have your shopping list. What does it look like? Oh, that that we use oh, all the time. So, so hopefully look, now it lets you add it. Mm -hmm. So you can add it to your front. Oh, that's cool. So if we hit add, because I'm going to want it. Look now, it's oh, it's there again. That's what happens. And then you can hit your shopping list. Yeah, that's cool because that syncs up with the cell phone. So, like, if you're out and about, you've got your shopping list that you enter in all your groceries on the fridge throughout the week. Like, oh, I'm running low on this. We need this. You know, we, we need milk. Or I'm running low on cereal. And then you're out at the grocery store and you pull up your cell phone and all that stuff you've been entering on the fridge throughout the week shows up on your phone. And you can oh, cross it so off. Much easier to use. Oh, is it? Yes, this is so much easier to use. So you just hit add item. Mm -hmm. So you need bread, you just hit bread. Before you had to do edit and add, and it was like 10 steps just to be able to add an item. And when you're your we, kitchen, we, we got good at it though. I mean, granted, yeah. we were able to fly through it, but still. But this still, <laughs> when you're in your kitchen and you have a two year old at your feet and you're trying to cook and you're like, I just want to add one item to the list so I don't forget what it is and have 10 minutes when I'm doing something else. <laughs> this is so much easier. So you can just add, look, and it even brings a drop down of different types oh, that's of cool. bread. Just hit bread, hit done, and it adds bread to your list, and it creates it as a checkoff. So, and then when you go back, nice. So, and then if you want to delete an app, it's just like your cell phone. You can click and drag it, and it takes the app off, so you don't have to view it. Which on the old one, if it was there, you weren't deleting it. Like it was, you had to view whatever was on your screen. But granted, now you have more options, so I'm sure that you don't have as much space. So. Oh, this is the whiteboard that Ben likes to use. This is different. Oh, mm -hmm. two different ones. Is it? Or is yeah. it the... No, it's two different ones. Oh, that's this what the... Is like, okay. This is more of what he's used to. Yeah, that's... Seeing the colors and stuff. But again, that was weird to... Yeah. So what's the, where's the new one at? Oh, and there's our message. It didn't delete that, so that's yeah. cool. So the other one is on the front page. Even though it gave you, like, this stern warning that everything's going to be deleted, it looks like some stuff carried over, so that's cool. So if you did a new one... So say I wanted to be, like... You could type write a message... You know, don't forget. <laughs> I know I'm not forgetting. Blah, blah, blah. Like, or you could do a recorded message or type it out so that way it actually looks decent. But this is if, like, like when you leave an address for me when you go to do a job. Right, and, and now it's showing up. It shows the two. Yeah. So, so I like. I leave the so what's that one called? That one's not whiteboard this or what? Memo. This is memo. Okay. Yeah. But I like memo better than the whiteboard, so yeah. that's, that's so cool. That's still an option. So let's see, and you can still just access your internet. So it's giving us a hard time. We'll have to play around with it and see why. Check out the setting. Yeah. Or um, the view inside is still there. Cool. Well, we'll do another update later. This was just like the um, excitement for getting the update finally. But we'll maybe we'll come back. You know, a couple weeks from now, we'll do like a more in-depth uh, tutorial or something. So. All right, cool. Oh, it's a to-do list. You yeah. can do a to-do list. You couldn't do that on your other one. This huh. is a new list. Neat. So now you can do a to-do list so you can say, like, you know, whatever it is, your honey-do list can be oh, right great. on the refrigerator. It's going to be on the refrigerator now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to sign off. Um, you, you can keep playing with that, but I'm just going to, for YouTube at least, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, come back and do a more in-depth review later.